Hey, 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 you guys already done know what it is. It's your boy Jalen, aka Lake My Fashion. You guys, you know, I'm back with another video. We lit. I got the juice. I got the sauce. I got the juice. I got the sauce. You can hold that L. So you guys already know what time it is before we get into this video. I would like you guys to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Lex My Fashion. Ayy, get it, get it, woo. Ayy, get it, get it. Ah, ah. Make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to I said, don't forget to smash the like button before my smash on the face. Hello. And again, don't forget to follow me on my social media. It'll be in the description box below and it will pop up on the screen. What, what, where that though? Where that though? We are it. I do a red boy rock. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a McDonald's mukbang. As you guys can see, it's still in the bag. It's all fresh. It's all hot. It's all ready. And I'm about to take it out. I got my little plate here. I got my sauces. I have my, you know, my McFlurry. Floor, which is about to melt because you know you know how that goes but i was being greedy i was being extra greedy today and i have water <laughs> wow jaylen you're about to have 2,000 calories and you've got water wow i'm one of those people <laughs> today i'm going to be doing a mcdonald's mukbang and i'm going to be talking about plastic surgery okay how i feel about plastic surgery anyways without further ado let's get into the video shall we whoa 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 hey hey my family whoa whoa i don't my whoa whoa Ooh. So let's take out our food right now. Ooh, I got some large fries and obviously like on my way back to my house, I was eating some of them because I'm fat and sour, yes. I also got McDouble. So guys, I always get um, a McDouble with only ketchup, cheese, lettuce, mayo. So freaking bomb. So we're just gonna unwrap this up. Oh, ooh, 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 Yes, got another. McDouble, as you guys can see. Ooh, yes, ketchup cheese, that is my only ow, <laughs> ow. So I got another one, as you guys can see here. Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, we're about to get Lydia up in these streets. After this, I'm definitely going to the bathroom, let me tell you. Mm. I also got two apple pies, as you guys can see. And I got a McFlurry. So the McFlurry is really just melting. So if it melts, it just melts. I'll just leave it here and eat it one at a time. I got my sweet and sour sauce, my mayo. And um, yeah, and then we got some bag fries, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me just get everything in order. Okay guys, so now that we have our food, let's eat because honestly, mm -mm. I've been waiting for this. I'm hungry. Yes, yes, all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you don't like dipping your mayo in fries, you're wildin'. Guys, can we first talk about the fact that McDonald's has the best fries? Well, in my opinion anyways. It's so good. Tastes good. Especially when they're fresh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Bomb. Mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this is bomb. This is bomb. I like it. This is bomb. Mmm. Yes. Yes. We will be discussing, first and foremost, plastic surgery and how I feel about it. So, I've always wanted to talk about this topic, but I never, ever, I guess, wanted to i guess discuss it because you know how women are oh my god you know let women do things to their body whatever whatever you know so i kind of brush it off for a bit i kind of brush it off but i feel like the reason why i wanted to discuss this today is because i feel like in the society there's just we're too focused on plastic bodies and not focused on loving ourselves and i'm not going to sit here and say like you know, first and foremost, when people say, oh, like, how are you going to tell somebody that they don't love themselves if they got their body done? Well, it's clear. You got it done. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's very clear. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that people can't get their bodies done or whatever. Your choice is your choice. Your life is your life. But, again, everyone has an opinion, right? Plastic surgery within itself is a waste of time. Um, I feel like we need to focus more on loving ourselves versus 
fixing ourselves. Does that make sense? It just bothers me that like we're like a lot of women are too focused on I guess trying to fix themselves because of like how society has shaped I guess women now as opposed to really just loving themselves and loving their flaws. So even for me like for example like you know like I don't have the best teeth like you know like the bottom of my teeth are crooked and I know that and like I plan to do get braces but right now it's not like extra extra hectic because I've learned to accept my bottom crooked teeth but it will get done you know what I mean and also to get braces like five thousand dollars I'm like five right now I'm five sometimes you just have to learn to accept your flaws and I feel like a lot of people don't so I think it's very annoying that you know women in general have to go to the extent of getting their bodies fixed to make themselves feel better to make themselves feel good because of what society thinks and like when girls say oh I didn't want to get plastic surgery done because of society. I got it done because it was a choice that I decided to make. Negative. No, because if society wasn't planting out plastic surgery, boobs, this, big lips, this, that, and the third, you wouldn't be doing it. Let's be honest. You wouldn't be doing it. Like, if that wasn't the motive of society in today's generation, I don't think women would be doing it, you know? So I don't think it's... You can say that it had a little bit of inspiration. You can say that. But don't say that society never gave you i guess you could say an opinion or an option to not do it at all you know what i mean like you had it in your brain okay well listen i'm gonna get this done because i feel like i would be more lit for whatever this that and the third you know what i mean but don't sit here and say that society has never given you like a push to go get it done if you know what i mean um and to my to my knowledge i feel like it's it's quite sad for the most part mm. I feel like it's um pretty annoying that girls have to go to the extent of changing their bodies because of what society thinks and what other, I guess you could say, guys like, if that makes sense. Or is it that guys like it? Or is it that you're trying to go based on society? Like, what is it? Like, what is the motive behind plastic surgery? What is the motive behind, you know, bigger boobs, a bigger bum or, or, or this? Like, why can't you just work for it naturally? In this day and age, we're very, 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 very influenced by you know the society and um, it's very annoying because you know you have people like you know kim k black china a bunch of people who you know do their bodies and like it's funny that a lot of these people complain They're like oh your body's fake this 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 that and they're the same people that are gonna go do it so in my opinion it's like yo like you're complaining that another person is doing it but then you're going around and doing it yourself why is that like why is it that you Want to get your body done because of somebody else. Why are you that you feel that plastic surgery is lit? It's to the point where people are spending multiple money on their body to make it look, to, to make it try to look perfect, than like investing into something else, like a business or something like that. Take it for example, like K Michelle, she removed all of her implants. Like, whoa. It's crazy, like, that all these things are, are now in. I'm just trying to figure out why bigger boobs, a bigger bum, big lips are in. In my opinion, those things have been in. So I'm just trying to figure out why it's now in now. You know what I mean? Like, those things have been in, especially in the, like, African community culture and, like, the black community. Bro, big lips was always a thing. Big bum was always a thing. Chest was always a thing. So it's like, we're now doing this, and this is becoming normal. But, yo, back then, when these black girls already had that type of figure, they were called something else. Like, I'm just trying to figure out why all of a sudden it's all accepted. And it's annoying because now you have black, actual black girls going to go do that. And it's like, yo, like, I don't know. I just find it so awesome that people, everyone wants to get their body done. I don't know. Me personally, I don't agree with it. But well, my opinion is my opinion and I said what I said and I meant what I said. Like, <laughs> would I not be their friend because they do plastic surgery? Absolutely not, because their life is their life. But to actually like agree with you to do it, to be on your side to do it, yeah, no. I'm just gonna look at this hoe because honestly, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm. This is bomb, yo. So bomb, so bomb. Mm. We need to get back to a stage of where women love themselves you know what i mean and i'm not just gonna say women because i know i've even know some guys who got plastic surgery and i guess i'm looking at it from a christian point of view 
I feel like we need to really start loving ourselves again. <laughs> because I feel like right now, in this um, day and age, everybody's lost. Everyone is so focused on how they look, how their figure should be, how their shape should be, how this should be. So focused on all those things, and we're forgetting the point. Yo, love yourself, love your flaws. In reality, guys, I don't know who it's for or like what's the purpose of getting it done. Like I get you wanna be in these bodies and whatever, but it's like, who is it for? And let me explain something to you, okay? There are seven billion people on this earth, okay? And there is going to be one person who's gonna love you regardless for who you are, period. Like, let's just put that out there. Let's start there. Because I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to please people in certain areas and certain ways when it comes to their body, the way they look, you know, the way they talk, act, whatever. Sometimes I felt like I had to change myself when it came to a relationship. The only way you should be able to be changing yourself is elevating, leveling up. Those type of things is the reason how you should change. The way you look, like nobody should tell you, oh, you need to change this because it looks this, or oh, you need to change this because it looks that. Like nobody should be able to tell you none of that stuff because that is not, what you're on this earth for you're on this earth to please yourself you know what i mean and you have to start loving yourself first and i feel like we lost that everyone is just so concerned about you know, their body and the way it looks and the way it's shaped and what annoys me also about plastic surgery is like if you are going to get plastic surgery at least get it done right you know what i mean get it done to where it looks like properly laid or proportionally well done like some girls will get their bodies like overly done and overly exposed and think it's cute like no we're not going to get plastic surgery and then we're not going to f up plastic surgery we're not gonna do that if you're gonna get plastic surgery get it done properly get it done proper get it done well get it done accentuated like you know what i mean like get it done well my real issue with girls who do plastic surgery is the fact that they decide to do this plastic surgery and then work out like as if their body was naturally done i don't like girls who do that like stop trying to fake the funk you want to post flat tummy tea you want to post this you want to post that you want to post oh my god working out i got my glutes this way no you didn't get your glutes that way you got it done at a doctor that's what you did so let's just start there when you are doing these things you guys need to have a very precaution of the consumer itself you know what i mean like you need to let people know like okay well honestly guys like my bum didn't just come like this from the gym like i actually you know got things done but i maintained it by so and so and so you know like you can't just come out of nowhere have this fake body or whatever body got get your body done and then all of a sudden be like oh yeah go working out i have this 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 no like you're really just you're really creating a facade i'd rather a, you know a banging body that's like natural mm. sorry guys mm. i am so full guys like i don't know how i do my friends because i get full really quick mm. again it goes back to loving ourselves we need to start doing that more often it's really really getting out of hand it bothers me because people who are probably content and quite well with their body you know they see all these plastic surgery bodies and they start to get insecure within themselves and like okay well i don't have a body like her so i personally have never felt intimidated by somebody who has a six pack and somebody who's bulky or who has muscle you know like I've, I've never been intimidated by that because i just don't care like listen i'm skinny look at that i have no muscle and i don't care i still get who i want anyway you know what i mean because somebody's gonna love me for me period whether if i have a six pack whether i'm fat whether i'm big whether you know what i mean like people somebody's gonna love me somebody's gonna love me and that's how we have to think um but it's just unfortunate that girls in society who are content with their body they see these other bodies and they're like oh wow i want a body like that or oh wow i want a body like that or oh wow i want a body like that nah like i just want to let you guys know like especially women in general understand that you're beautiful like i want you guys to understand that and i want you guys to take more precaution in terms of loving yourselves loving your body loving the way you are as an individual because i feel like we don't get people who say that to you guys and i want to be the one person to be like okay women you guys are beautiful like you know enjoy your stretch marks enjoy your this enjoy your that you know what i mean like and i want you guys to really be proud of who you are and like your body because listen your body is a temple and god made your body the way he made it and yo be thankful and Really just understand that somebody's gonna love you and that body regardless. Somebody's gonna love you. Somebody's gonna appreciate your body. Somebody's gonna take care of your body. Somebody's gonna treat your body like a temple when they get a hands on it, you know what I mean? And I want you guys to understand that and I want you guys to understand that there's somebody in this world out here who is gonna like love your natural body and love your stretch marks and and love the way you look and and love a bit of rolls here just just love you listen there's nothing wrong with working on yourself and saying okay listen i want to lose weight because you know i feel like i'm not good in this area or whatever that is no problem do that you know what i mean do that make yourself feel better whatever but what i don't want to see girls doing is going to the extent of changing their body ridiculously and having it look a mess and then really sending a wrong message to society i feel like no like nobody should do that i don't think we should do that um i don't even think even guys like guys i know some guys who've gotten plastic surgery and same thing like 
same thing for guys it, it, there's no bias stance but it just happens to be that women do it more than men strategically um and statistically but yeah men do it too and i just feel like everybody in this world should accept their body for who they are you know what i mean we should all grasp that we should all you know get in tune with that um hmm. we should really 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 accept our flaws for who we are you know because again life is about not you know perfection life is also about flaws <laughs> to be honest yes i got an apple pie i got two of that <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. one thing about apple pies at mcdonald's are really good like the big one two for a dollar oh my gosh so good mm. it was really warm mm-hmm Mm. Yep. Yep, yep. What's the message that we're putting out there when we continuously change our bodies rather than investing in ourselves into something different or doing something different? Rather, we're spending $10,000 on changing our bodies when we can invest that $10,000 to create a bigger business and be a millionaire. I'd rather have one natural body than to have like a fake body and then you get this. You know what I mean? So just really think about the terms of like what you guys are doing and i'm not saying that you you shouldn't like okay well i am saying you shouldn't do it um but it's not my decision it's obviously everyone's life and i respect any decision that people make i just won't agree with it and that's just my opinion i just don't feel like people should be doing it because we need to start loving ourselves again and that's what i want from the society because i feel like right now nobody does how about we start a trend called loving ourselves let's do that let's start there let's have a trend called loving ourselves and let's actually keep that trend forever <laughs> Let's keep that trend forever and keep it going because that's what we need right now. We need people to lift up each other in our natural state. We need people to lift up each other in our natural well-being. And I feel like we don't do that. So, um, yeah, that's what it comes to when it comes to plastic surgery. That's how I feel anyway. Um, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's bomb. I'm full. All this food made me knock out, bro. I'm full. Woo! Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang, my McDonald's mukbang. Let me know, are you guys enjoying the mukbangs? Because I'm enjoying them myself, and I feel like I'm gonna continue to do one like each week because I really love these topics that I'm doing. Let me know how you guys feel about this video. Comment below. For the next mukbang, let me know where I should eat, Um, you know, what I should have. Before I leave, you guys, you know what time it is. I would like you guys to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash lick my fashion. Ayy, giddy giddy low, ayy, giddy giddy low. Make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to ice. Head. Don't forget to smash that button for my smash on the face. Hello. And again, don't forget to follow me on my social media. It'll be in the description box below and it will pop up on the screen. What, what, where that though? Where that though? Listen, we are it at Dua. We are there. All right, guys, it is your boy Jalen, aka Lick My Fashion. You know what time it is, fashion gang, 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 I love it when you tell your girlfriend that a young nigga beg for it Girl, why lie, lie? Girl, why lie, lie? Girl, why lie, lie?